Absolutely, and welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to draw an easy, step-by-step -step picture of lips in three different positions. Enjoy! So we'll start with a neutral pair of lips. That means that it's not smiling or frowning, it's just closed. And we made a line down the center and cut it halfway and from there we made two small mountain peaks extending towards either side. And here is the little dip of the upper lip as it goes into the lower lip. And we'll just accentuate that with some dark red color. So we're starting off with the those small lines built into the framework of the lips and that is our base so that it stays as we put the layers of color on top of it and we'll just add on different shades of dark red for that center and whatever parts of the lips are sort of in the shadow we'll do with the same color And then we'll start with circular motions going around layer upon layer on um, the upper and lower lips. So that basically leaves us with a space in the center of each of the lower lip that is less colored. Since we're going in a circular motion, the, the darkest colors are in, on the middle of the lips where the lips touch and on the edge of the lower lip. And that leaves a lighter area in the center, which is what we want. We want to leave it lighter so that it stays more highlighted since that's where the, color, the light hits. For the upper lip, there is less of that because the upper lip is shadowed over by the nose, so it doesn't have that same light effect. So the upper lip, although I do it with somewhat circular motions, I also use straight since it has a different sort of look to it. It doesn't have the same lightness as the lower lip, which really can have a, a lot of glistening and shining from whatever light source is shining on it. So here we're accentuating that the darkness in the center and on the lower edge. Now we'll move on to the pursed lips. That is if you are blowing, kissing, or just pursing your lips. So that will look sort of like an O shape and we'll see a few teeth there in the center and you see how we, I, I mark off the centers of each quadrant of this oval just to get it even so that I don't get one side bigger than the other it helps to mark it off and there is more shadow area in the in those corners there's much more accentuation over there and the lines of the insides of the lips are much closer together since the mouth is somewhat squished up into a small circle. So here I didn't do it as dark, it was more the same color as the rest of the lips wasn't as darkly delineated as the first lips. And I show some a little bit of the shadowing of the outside, how the upper lip is. And as you can see, the teeth are mostly just the the outline of them 
there's not much to color actually on the teeth, just a little bit shadowing and that bright spot that I left completely bare for that, for the shine. But it's, it's mostly just the outlines. So here I'm going around with many layers of shades of bright pinks and also some lighter pinks. Just to get that smoothness and here I have my fun little mechanical eraser and that gives us the a nice glisten on the lower lip. And here is our frowning mouth. So when a mouth is turned down, yes it's actually turned down. Although it's just the middle line that's turned down, the rest of the mouth itself is not completely out of shape. But I guess that this is what your mouth will look like when you're crying or just very sad. So once again, the midline is very dark and accentuated. That is where most of the expression of the mouth is, in the center. The outer edges are much are lighter and there's less going on there. Although there's plenty of color over there, the more expression comes in the center. That's where it's shown the most. So here we'll just keep um, going with our brighter colors at the edges and leaving that middle of the bottom lip less colored. Since if you don't have a special kind of eraser to get the color off is much harder. So if you just leave it less colored and put just lighter shades of pink in that area, it will still have a highlighted effect. It just... Um, you. You have to just make sure to leave it bare. You can actually just go over that area with lighter color. And once again with my mechanical eraser, that really adds a lot of brightness in the areas that you see where you want to take off a little bit of color. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can check out my other body part videos. Have a great day.